a post-traumatic stress disorder is a psychiatric disorder that may occur when an individual has either witnessed or experienced a traumatic event such as natural disasters, an act of war, uh, terrorist acts, a serious accident or injury uh, and it can be pretty much anything that you view as traumatic. The exposure to the traumatic event doesn't always have to be direct for PTSD to occur. It could also be indirect where you hear about the traumatic event. Now, how do you know if you have PTSD? What are the symptoms? So one of the symptoms is having flashbacks or intrusive thoughts. So in that case, you'll have repeated involuntary distressing thoughts about the, about the event and you'll, you might re-experience the event through flashbacks. Now, another symptom is avoidance. Avoiding either reminders of the event, avoiding talking about it, anything that could trigger a memory of the event. Next is changes in mood and cognition. So you might find it difficult to experience positive emotions. You might feel detached from others. Um, depressive symptoms such as decreased interest in doing something that's anhedonia. Uh, experiencing emotions such as guilt, anger, shame. And this is, this is largely as a result of distorted emotions about yourself or others. Uh, there could be negative thoughts and feelings associated to the event. And there could be an inability to remember important aspects of the traumatic event in itself. The last symptom is changes in arousal and reactivity. So you might have sudden anger outbursts, increased irritability, difficulty concentrating, uh, falling asleep or maintaining sleep is a problem. Uh, behaving recklessly because you're not that worried about yourself or putting so putting yourself in harm's way and some people become hyper aware of their surroundings so they might get startled easily now how is a diagnosis made so for an individual to be diagnosed with ptsd you must have had the symptom for a period lasting of more than one month and these symptoms must have caused significant disturbance in your daily life and now most people experience the, the, the symptoms that we discussed earlier within three months of the traumatic event, but that is not necessary. And PTSD can persist for months and sometimes years, which is why it's important to get treated as soon as possible. Now, how do you go about with treatment? So a combination of a medication, psychiatric medication and psychotherapy is considered the most effective rather than any form of treatment alone. Now, what are the forms of therapy that usually work? There's cognitive behavior therapy or CBT. There is cognitive processing therapy. There is prolonged exposure therapy, uh, EMDR, which is eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. First is look after yourself. So ensure adequate rest, eat well, try and get some exercise. Avoid using any substances to cope. This can kind of complicate the recovery period and so you want to avoid them. Limit exposure to distressing news about the event. Stay connected with friends and family. Try and join a support group if you have one around you. If you don't have, try and find one or ask someone around you. Start activities that you find relaxing. So it could be practice mindful breathing, uh, meditation, just deep deep uh, breaths. So a good technique is a 478 technique. So if you go online, you'll find enough information about it. So 478 is you inhale for four counts, hold for seven counts, exhale for eight counts. Now engage in activities that you enjoy. So if you don't have an activity, maybe start cons consider starting a hobby. And if the distress persists over a few weeks, then definitely consult with a mental health practitioner. Mm -hmm. 